Let's see. Smooth, irregular, smells of paraffin. I wonder what it could be. That doesn't work. Yes, well, art criticism was never a strong point of the University Trust. Oh, sod it, I'm all lost now. Ah, if it isn't young Breakwind. Rincewind, sir. Rincewind, quiet. Come in, we need to talk. That is, I need to talk, and you listen. No doubt you've been hearing all sorts of rumours about this dragon that supposedly is terrorising the town. Uh, uh, d uh, dragon? As in the uh, classic fire-breathing, city-toasting... Shut up! Yes, pretty much. Scaly, vain, like shiny objects, that species of kidney. And what we need to do is to ensure that the unseen university is properly represented in the attempt to dispose of it. If some yokel simply slays the wretched thing without our help, the people will begin to ask just what wizards are for. Actually, sir, what are wizards for? Wizards are firmly behind big dinners. And if you want to keep on eating yours, you'll go and see about this dragon. Surely, sir, dragons don't logically exist. Shut up! Dragons exist if you believe in them. And the average man in the street does believe in them. Or at least believes in them enough to give us big rewards if they think we've gotten rid of the thing. Do you follow me? Not really. Shut up! Not interested in excuses. Too much sloppy thinking around here. Run down to the library and fetch me a copy of Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs. Once we've read that, we'll know how to track the scaly blighter down. You still here? Standing around like something unhygienic? Do it now! As far as leaders go, the only reason I'd follow him into battle is out of curiosity. Sparklies! Hmm. Golden thingamies. It must be good to be the Arch-Chancellor. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Care to step outside and shut the door behind you? Must you always do that? Hmm. Sex magic. The book of the 32 unspeakable acts, with a compendium containing several speakable ones, and six more that everyone involved would rather forget about. No wonder it's on ice.
Ah. Let's not press this curiosity thing too far then, shall we? Must come in handy, stacked with all the latest monkey accessories. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Actually, on close examination, this would seem to be some sort of subtropical arboreal ape. A magical accident in the library turned the librarian into an orangutan. He has since resisted all efforts to turn him back, much preferring the handy long arms, the prehensile toes, and the right to scratch himself in public. Ye illustrious tome of levitation. Oh yes, that's that's levitating, all right. Oh dear, there's little pamphlets living in it. That doesn't work. Reminds me of my old auntie's bedroom. Yes, I think perhaps our best move would be to keep slightly upwind of this one. Well, that and keep out of arm's reach. A golden banana? That doesn't work. Psst. Hey, buddy. Who, me? Have you ever thought about the advantages of owning land on the Fremen Wanger Peninsula? Isn't that all underwater? That's just its advantage, friend. Think of it. A seaside retreat where the sea can actually be the one total dominating element of the view. What's that banana doing in your ear? Now that's my special ticket into the library. It can get you into the shelves. It can get you any special service from the librarian you want. There's only one of these in existence. Yeah, but why is it in your ear? The mystic nature of the universe is not to be discussed idly. Let us say that with our thoughts we make the world, and that reality is only as we perceive it to be. Like dragons? Uh-huh, could be. So why is that banana in your ear? What banana? Look, I've had enough of this. How much do you want for it? For what? For the banana. It's not for sale. Not for all the gold in the kingdom, buddy. Not for all the gold in the kingdom. What, really? No, not really. I mean, bring me all the gold in the kingdom and the banana's yours. Gosh, yes. Let me take advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime offer. What, really? Nah, only kidding. I just want it to be as pleasant as possible as a sort of aid to conversation. Oh, but that's cruel. It's building up my hopes only to dash me down. You know, being a confidence trickster is a hard job. Well, perhaps you need a holiday. <laughs> right, but where to? Where to? Not a lot of peace at resorts these days. I hear the Framenwanger Peninsula is fairly quiet. Why don't your lips sync with your words? L space. The library is a nexus of L space. Within these shelves, all possible pasts and futures can be found. Frankly, it's making me feel a bit ill. What's that under your coat? Hourglasses. Care to buy an hourglass? Where did you get all of those? Fell off the back of a donkey cart, sir. You are an extremely silly man. Hey, I'm not the one wearing a dress. Why don't your lips sync with your words? L space. The library is a nexus of L space. Within these shelves, all possible pasts and futures can be found. Frankly, it's making me feel a bit ill. Right, well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. Mm. Hello? Ooh, egat. You're not in charge here, are you? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I see. Well, that explains the filing system. Look, I don't know if you're quite the person that I want to see. Ooh, yeah, well, it, it's hard to explain, really. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um... Ook, eek, ook, ook, ook. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. 